Today we're going to take a look at Google Apps for Education and introduce the main concepts and look at why this is a great product for schools. So let's look at what Google Apps actually is. Well, according to Google, it's a better way of learning. It's free web-based email, calendar and documents for collaborative study anytime, anywhere. And that bit at the end, collaborative learning anytime, anywhere, is what it's all about in a nutshell. Looking a little more closely, it actually has a lot of tools available, including email, calendar, and all the way through to sites. And it's available on any device that has a web browser and an active internet connection. So what's actually included? Well, Google has included Gmail for all your emailing needs with all the power of Google's Gmail. Calendar to help you and your students stay organized. Remember, collaboration is a key part of Google Apps, so calendars are easily shared and created. And of course, Google Drive, which allows you to store and share any type of file and also includes Docs, which is a fully fledged word processor, Sheets, which is a complete web-based spreadsheet app, and Slides for all those times you need to present. In fact, this talk itself is given over a Google Slides presentation. Google also provides sites, which allows you to host your school site, class site, or even have, allow your students to have a site. This could be used for their e-portfolios, for example. It's really simple to create a pretty decent looking site very quickly. There's a whole host of other apps as well, and these are just some of them, and they're all Google. So you've got Google Plus there, and uh, Translate, Code, Picasso Web Albums, and Blogger. But you can also add other apps via the Google Apps Marketplace. It's well worth your time having a look at the variety and scope of those that are available. For example, I've also got uh, Pixlr in my apps, which is a fully fledged image editor completely integrated into Google Drive. Each app is approved or not by each domain. So for example, at my school, we don't currently allow our students to use Google+, at least not yet. And of course, the best part is that's free completely free with uh, 24 hours, seven days a week, 365 days a year, support for free via web, email, and phone. And of course, it's available anytime, anywhere, on anything, which has a browser. Okay, so we like the look of Google Apps, right? Well, how do we get going? Well, if your school hasn't changed over yet, you'll need to go and have a chat to your IT department and show them this video. It'll save them dollars and time. You can try it out with yourself by signing up for a free Google account. Go to any Google application and just go to sign up and you can then try out all the apps. My school has signed up, so we can just go and start using it straight away. Accessing Google Apps is actually quite easy. You can go to any of the apps you want simply by using one of Google's interesting web addresses. If you want to use Google Drive, simply drive.google.com. Email is at mail.google.com. Calendars are at calendar.google.com. And for all your personal account details, head on over to accounts.google.com. The list goes on. They're fairly straightforward, as you can see. Now that that's out of the road, we can actually go and sign in. To do this, we head to any Google app, including the search, and look for the sign in button in the top right hand corner of your browser window. Select that and you should see a sign in page. Uh, when you've got that, use your Google Apps email address, including all the stuff after the at symbol and your password. If you don't know what these are, have a chat with the Google administrator at your school. After you've signed in, you'll notice a black menu bar at the top of the browser window. These are your links to all the other apps in your Google Apps install. You'll also see a more menu item. Hold your mouse over that to see what else it has to offer. It's also where you'll find the app's marketplace. So that's all I have for you in this video, but I will be posting introductory videos for all the apps which I use, Mail, Calendar, and most importantly, Drive. So take the time to have a look around inside your Google Apps and see what is what and just what you can do. It really is quite a powerful tool for you and your students to collaborate and get things done. Stress less. Be ninja.